Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to the Craft Time Studio. I'm Ange and I love to fill my weekends with craft projects. For this weekend, I want to introduce you to a very useful tool for claying, a clay extruder. This metal tube has plates attached at its end and when you crank the handle, it will squeeze out the clay in the shape of the plate. Before I owned an extruder, I used to roll my logs manually, but now, my logs come out evenly all the time, making my works look more professional. For this tutorial, I will be doing 5 different designs using an extruder, but before I do that, I will condition my colors first. I will be using pastel colors mixed with granite to make textured logs. Remember to condition your clay well. In mixing granite, don't stop until the granite is fully incorporated and you have even colors. If you don't condition your clay properly and you pass them through the extruder, it will not come out smoothly. Once I have all my colors mixed in, I pass them through the extruder. So for the first design, I am making teardrop shaped earrings. Basically, you will just need a teardrop shaped cutter. Wrap the log on the outline of the cutter. The ends should meet together at an angle. Then wrap a second log around the first log. Mm -hmm. 
punch a hole on the top for the findings. For the second design, I want to show you how I make a knot design. Literally, you just knot the clay. And then, the ends should meet at the back. Use a blade to cut the ends and then smoothen them out so that it looks seamless. You can either push an earring post or attach an eye pin through the knot. The third design is a very easy one, the rainbow. Bend the log into an inverted U shape. Add as many layers as you want to your rainbow. You can cut it unevenly if you want an asymmetrical design. I am placing also a link on a previous rainbow tutorial that I made in case you want to check it out. The first ones that I made were done without an extruder. To make hoops, you need a curved cutter and earring posts with an extended peg. The easy way to go about it is to simply wrap the log around the circular cutter. But with this particular design, I added stripes, so I flattened two different colors into the number 4 setting. I laid one color on top of the other and then cut them out into thin stripes.
I pass through to the roller again in the number 4 setting. Then I wrap the log with this. Once I got the stripes that I liked, I wrap this on the circular cutter and stick the earring posts to it. When I bake these, I actually let it stay on the cutter so that the shape is retained. For the fifth and last design, I want to show you how to make even lines on a slab. I use the plate with the smaller holes. I flattened my slab into the number 4 setting. Then I lined up the logs to cover the slab. Finally, I used the cutter. With this design, you will have dimension to your lines. It will not look flat at all. And that is it for this weekend's tutorial. I hope that if you haven't yet, you do consider liking and subscribing to the Craft Time Studio for more clay and craft tutorials. 
Thank you and have a great weekend ahead. Bye!